another day, another vlog. Well, I had full intentions on today's vlog being the monitor repair. I was going to take a rip over to Mesco and get the capacitors. I need a 25 volt 220 microfarad and a 10 volt 470 microfarad. Mesco doesn't have either or in stock or anything of higher uh, uh, voltage. Because like a 10 volt, you can put like a 20 volt in there, not a big deal. As long as the microfarad capacity is like fucking bang on, you're fine. You can basically use, as long as the capacity is the same, so like you can use a 20 volt to or a 470 microfarad in the place of a 10 volt, as long as two things fit in. Number one, the farad capacity has to be the same. And number two, the size, because those PCBs were built around the components used to basically optimize size to keep things tight. So you can't really ram a huge fucking capacitor in a spot where they had a tiny one, right? Well, yeah, I can't seem to get any today. Buddy said they're on back order. He's got a shipment coming in next Monday, so I should be able to pick it up then. But today's vlog was originally going to be, let's fix the Acer monitors and get them done. Once those were fixed, I was going to pop open the TV and see what the damage in there is and get that fixed, even though I have no use for another 32. I guess I can put it up on Kijiji for 50 bucks once I fix it and sell the fucking thing. Yeah. So right now I'm heading over to the bank. If you're wondering what that silver thing is off to the side, it's a drip tip from my E-Dart. See, look, you can tell. And I need to go deposit some money. Holy shit. Adrian wasn't lying. It's almost all gone. He said uh, that this winter or this uh, warm weather is going to cause the snow to dissipate and he was not that far off. Ugh, fucking tires. I need new tires for this fucking car like a son of a bitch. Yeah, they're both flat. Fuck my tits. Alrighty, might as well pump these things up and then uh, we'll go grab our garbage cans and put them up and go from there. I really need to get a compressor that's faster than this one. Or, you know, tires that hold fucking air. Yeah, once I get paid. Once I get paid, I'm getting this fucking car completely serviced inside and out. And then uh, she'll be good to go for a while. Both back tires, man. Both put on by the garage down the road. Both don't hold air. That one's pretty flat, too. Yep. Fuck sakes. So that means this morning I probably drove on it with a flat tire, so I should probably, probably get some damage to those. Because uh, I had a job to do. Uh, I got up at around 10 today. I uh, called Mesco. I was going to go pick up the capacitors. They told me they were out. So then I just said, fuck it. Uh, sat around for a bit trying to think of what I'm going to make a video about today and uh, I got a call to do some computer work so I went and did the computer work tires looked fine then but whatever you know and then I'm like now I'm like well you know what I came home because uh, yeah, I had to craft <laughs> and I wasn't sure what I was going to do and then I was like ah fuck it I'll go to the bank and then we'll go to the grocery store and pick up some more supplies for the week and go from there so alright good they're accepting air so we we'll figured we'd do that and then go from there so that's what we're doing right now is uh, I'm going to head out to the bank drop this money off easiest $220 I ever made in my life doing a little side work here and there making some extra scroll on the side you know trying to keep busy because fuck sakes man I've never not had a job and like when you have a job and you get time off you appreciate it but when you don't have a job and you get time off well every day is time off for fuck's sakes I don't even know if, if I didn't know it was Thursday because it says so on my computer I wouldn't even know what day it is I now understand why certain people who are unemployed have issues remembering what the fucking day is because why do you need to remember it oh yeah big chunk of snow like why do you need to remember it when every day is the same you get up you do your shit and you go to bed at night you know like people on disability and welfare and EI and stuff the days must just all string together it fucking sucks I just really don't want to get a job until after Christmas because I'd hate to get something and then have to work Christmas Day and just fuck everything up I should set up my little two gallon air compressor to be an air pump and then just drag that out here and just zap the tires that'd probably be a lot quicker and easier and I know I know a lot of you are gonna say oh Adam just use tire slime or some shit well I was already warned not to use tire slime so that's the reason why I'm not using tire slime because I was already told by the tire repair shop that if I use tire slime they're gonna charge me a cleaning bill on these fucking rims and I don't want that so I'm looking at about $180 a tire for this car because Canada's expensive 
way more expensive than the Murica's, so anybody in the Murica is probably saying, holy fuck, what kind of tires you putting on that thing? Just generics, generic winter tires, nothing fancy, you know, and because of that, Canada, you got to pay 180 for the tire, then you got to pay a $15 disposal fee for, on the tire because when they're done, you got to dispose. So you pay that up front when you buy the tire. Then there's an environmental cost, and it's like taxes. So it ends up being a lot more than 180 a tire. It ends up being close to nearly $210 a tire. It's fucking brutal. Alrighty, the car is now supporting itself with a cushion of air. Let's get the fuck out of here. Well, I have no idea how bad the banks are gonna be today, being a Thursday at three o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, 3.12 in the afternoon, whatever. Um, probably gonna be pretty hectic, I assume, but I know the roads are gonna be pretty, well, they're easy to drive on right now because everything's melted and they got about a pound of sand for every square inch. What the fuck are you even doing? Oh, I see, you're letting people cross, okay. I'm telling you, man, winter hits and everybody forgets how to fucking operate their vehicle. They all drive like they're in a rally race and the moment they lose traction, they just double foot the brake pad and ride it out. It's pretty insane. I'm kind of a little pissed off though. I was kind of hoping to go to Mesco, get those caps, and then get them installed, fire up that monitor and be like, that's how easy it is, boys, and here's the receipt. Like, like literally, it's, it's 25 cents for both capacitors. Well, 26, and there's probably tax on that too. So probably around 30 cents, and I'm gonna have that fucking monitor repaired. Like 30 cents, people throw away monitors. I've thrown one out for this. I've thrown away an old uh, ViewSonic for this reason. Never even thought fucking it could be the caps that are bleeding. Never even thought about it. Just ran out to the fucking Staples, bought a new monitor and replaced it, you know? Didn't even bother to think about repairing it. Just chucked the son of a bitch into the recycling center and called her quits. Mind you, uh, the monitor, the ViewSonic that I replaced, was an old 4x3 aspect ratio 17 inch. Still a nice monitor, but it only did 1024 by 768. Not exactly something you you know you want to brag about. Kind of an old fossil, but you know what? I could have used all the guts and shit from it to put it into that uh, that Macintosh that I have sitting in the garage. Actually, I'd like to get a 15 inch 4x3 monitor for that reason, so I can gut the CRT shit out of it and put an LCD panel in there and gut all the the Mac bullshit out of it and put a PC motherboard in there and do what we did back in college. Mind you, back in college we didn't do it like that. My buddy actually uh, hooked up the video card directly to the CRT and used the original CRT for it because uh, he wanted to make a video of uh, how to play Counter-Strike on your Macintosh. So that's what he did. He gutted the fucking Macintosh, stuck a bunch of computer components into it, and made it a portable PC for gaming at LAN parties, and hooked it up to the CRT and shit. I have no He's way better with electronics than I am. I have no idea how he did it. So I can't even begin to answer questions on that one. I just know he brought it to the college the one day and sat it down, and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? And he's like, well, we're gonna play some Counter-Strike. And I'm like, dude, Counter-Strike ain't for Apple. It's for PC. And he's like, oh yeah, I know. And I never caught on until he fired it up and I saw it boot in the windows. And I was like, oh, are you fucking serious right now? And then there we went. We played Counter-Strike and he was playing it on a friggin' Macintosh running PC hardware. With Nowadays with computers that we have though, the Macintoshes are running PC hardware. They're running Intel Core i7 processors and same fucking RAM my Dell has because uh, the uh, MacBook now has 8 gigs of RAM because I ripped the 8 gigs out of the uh, Acer and replaced it with the 4 gigs out of the Mac and vice versa. I put the 8 gigs into the MacBook out of the Acer and it's been running mint. That's why uh, I think that's why Apple now solders their shit right to the main board and makes it impossible to upgrade because they're a bunch of slutty cunts like that. They want you to basically buy the RAM from them so they can maximize their profits on their, their uh, underachieving computers underachieving computers or as, as some people like to call it hipster bait apple is hipster bait hipsters love that shit because then they can wear their thick rimmed fucking glass go to starbucks buy a seven dollar coffee and stare at the aluminum chassis of their shitty notebook computer well they brag about a screenplay they're writing I don't know. Apple's a joke. Steve Jobs died. That place went to shit. Now nobody can innovate. All they're doing is stealing ideas from other companies who got successful with it. 
Don't believe me? Look at the Apple Watch. Apple for the longest time said having a smartwatch on your wrist was stupid. Samsung does it, becomes a big hit. All of a sudden, Apple's like fucking all over it like a fat kid on a Twinkie and bragging about how awesome and innovative their idea was. Ah, we're good. Okay, I'm gonna run to the bank, drop off this cheddar, and I'll talk to you guys when I get back out. Alrighty, peeps and creeps, we got money in the bank. Money in the bank. That was actually a lot quicker than I thought. There's like a couple cars here, but I swear they're all employees, so fuck it. Okay, I wanna take a run over to, oh fuck, where are you going, bud? Okay, I wanna take a run over to Food Basics because they got craft dinner on sale right now and I kinda wanna buy a couple cases. Also, I wanna get some other foods and stuffs and probably some junk. Yeah, the other day when I was talking about that three car pileup, it was right fucking here, bud. Right here. Like, came around this corner here, was coming up, and as I was coming up to this corner, you can start to slowly see beside, beyond the tree cuts on the left, there was just the ass end of a car with his taillights on, and then right when I came to here, there was three cars, just completely became one. Guess the guy in the front saw the red light and just fucking railroaded his brakes. Guy behind him did the same, guy behind him did the same, and they all just ate a bag of shit. Because uh, that's basically, when I came around the corner, they were already eating shit, so. And it was slippery out that day, like really, really bad. Fuck, it's 3.30, it's like I'm going to work for fuck's sakes, but I don't have one of those anymore. Fuck, does that ever feel weird? Like, you, uh, so hard to explain, like so hard to understand. Like thinking about it now, like when I first got that job and I'm looking around the office and stuff, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be here forever. Like this is my job and it's like it ended because of corporations and the rich people trying to kill off the poor people thinking they're better than us, fucking arseholes. That's why I hate the corporate rich, man. All they wanna do is set a new record of how much money they have in the bank. Don't even give a flying scrotum fuck about how other people live and survive. All they care about is I want to be the first trillionaire. I want to be the first billionaire. I, 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 need, a, I need to make another billion dollars to, for what? Like what the fuck are you going to spend a billion fucking dollars on? You're obviously not giving it to charity, so maybe you are and that's how you're making your money is by fucking tax write-offs. It's complete horse dick. Oh, maybe at the grocery store I can get more garbage bags and I can finish off that closet tonight. That'd be all right. I wouldn't mind that. Fuck, are they getting a red light up there? Like, can we maybe go soon? No? Not allowed? Okay. Oh, Jesus Murphy. This is why I hate doing groceries during the day like this. Because between... Oh, fuck, that's brave. No, no, don't slow down. Fuck, fucking fuck. This is fucking ridiculous. And watch, if they build up, they'll block this entrance because people are idiots in this town and just do not know how to drive. Dude, what I'm fucking giving it. Uh, let's park back here because, oh, oh, right here. Anything behind me? No, we're clear. I don't know what's going on right there. I guess they're digging up the light posts. Probably doing like they did at work or X work. Oh yeah, and I need to go to shoppers too. Oh, fuck, okay, let's get some shopping done. I'll burb. Well, that was fun. All right, we got our groceries done. Went and got some shit over at Shoppers. I needed uh, some stuffs and junk. And now we're gonna try and get the fuck out of here. And go home. <laughs> there was this old couple in the uh, grocery store just fucking having it at each other, eh? Just ripping into each other. It was hilarious. The old lady, she had one of those baskets that I normally grab, and the old man had a shopping cart, and he just like, why are you stupid? Why the hell would you grab that basket? We got this great big buggy, you're stupid. Then she just lays into him, calling him a moron because he only came in to grab little stuff, and he's like, you know how I am, I like to shop. Just fucking hammering into each other. I, I was like, I was trying to get by them, but they had the aisle blocked off with the shopping cart and the bickering. I just fucking sat around for the show. Like, if they had popcorn on sale, I probably would have bought a bag, sat back, and watched. We got a lot of shopping today, did. Uh, we got enough stuff to make another batch of chili. A vat batch, vatch. A vatch is now a word. So, uh, we're gonna make another batch of chili. Not today, though. We're gonna do that tomorrow because uh, mom gave me a pound of beef. And I want to do something fucky with this chili because, see, ground beef is expensive as piss, right? 
But ground pork, ground chicken, ground turkey, not so much. So, we're gonna try ground beef, ground chicken mix. I know, a lot of you in the audience are like, ew, that's so disgusting, why would you do that to kill me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, fuck man, you don't have to eat it, shut your mouth. I don't even know why I, I, I bother saying what people are gonna say in the, in the, in the uh, comments because no matter what you do on a YouTube video, somebody's gonna criticize your methods. It's a given. Everybody thinks they can do it better. Everybody has something to say about something. And it's also funny because those people who have something to say about something fucking hate it when you talk about their methods and you down them. So we got that, we got, uh, they had Doritos on sale too for four bucks, so I grabbed some of those because those are always nice at night when I'm just sitting around the house doing fuck all and I'm, I get the slight hankering for some munchies, just crack into a bag of Doritos, have a couple and call her a night. Uh, who am I kidding, I fuck over the whole bag. But uh, yeah, so we'll go home, I gotta figure out something to eat. I'll show you guys the loot. I had three bags this time. I bought a bunch of stuff, like I said, to make the chili again. I'm uh, gonna do it stove top style because way quicker than doing it friggin' oven style. But I'm modifying that recipe of crusties because I found it too watery. So I got some tomato paste. I got some, uh, some tomato soup. We got some beans. We got some uh, peppers. I didn't get any onions because I don't really care for onions. We got some mushrooms, I love mushrooms. Uh, fuck, I forgot the ground, um, the uh, sausages. I wanted to put sausages. Oh well, not a big deal. Any hoozle, I'm almost home, so I'm gonna just carry on my drive. And when we get there, I will show you guys what the fuck I bought. All right guys, see you at home. Yeah, groceries are a little bit more expensive this time around, and I'll show you why. So I bought a potato masher, mainly to mash the uh, beef tomorrow when I make the chili. Mushrooms, peppers, some laundry soap, downy, free and gentle, doesn't make my skin itch, love it. Some chicken fingers, fuck yeah, I love chicken fingers. Some kitten cat food, this shit's like 10 bucks, fucking expensive for kitten cat. Some MLG Doritos, the oh my god extra large garbage bags, we need these. Three dollar extra ground lean ground chicken, this is what's going into the ooh, chili tomorrow. Tomatoes also going in the chili tomorrow, good old kidney beans, the red kind. Going against Krusty's ways, I'm using Campbell's tomato soup, we'll try it with this. And last but not least, some tomato paste. So we'll fabricate that chili tomorrow and that should last us hopefully a while. What the fuck is she really doing? <laughs> Not sure where she wants to sit. Well, she really likes her blanket. Like, she's enjoying sitting on it and sleeping on it. And I just filled up their water. And this thing won't leave me the fuck alone. My goodness. What's the matter with you? She's having a drink. I'm preheating the oven. Um, I'm going to give these cheap friggin' $10 for a massive pillow sack bag of chicken fingers ago. See how bad they are. Also later tonight I need to uh, make some juice for e-juice. Uh, I want to bang off another 240 mil. And I also need to do something else and I completely forgot what it was. Oh yeah, I was going to tackle that closet some more probably. Garbage bags, convenient flap handles for tight closure. Garbage bags, tight closure. Alrighty, chicken fingers are done. Let's get them on a plate and get them in my face. Don't those look fucking delicious, not? Ugh. All right, let's go bang out some uh, the rest of that closet and then we can say it's done. Just like this dog's brain. Jesus, Murphy. Okay, so the only really other thing I need to deal with is this side because this side over here is just the boots. And that's it. So let's get the sandal over here. I want to get this box and see what the fuck's in here. Oh, apparently we already know what's in there. Just CDs. Some random cables. That's pretty much garbage. Well, okay. You know what? I'll deal with that another day. I'm going to throw that in the garbage most likely. Um, up here, 
It's gloves. Holy fuck. Fucking vote for Pedro, eh? <laughs> These are prescription too, they're really fucking with my eyeballs. Jesus Murphy, look at these fucking things though. If I ever have to get glasses, I'm getting this style. Isn't that me? That's totally me right there, right? Yeah, you fucking know it. You know what? I honestly don't feel like doing any cleaning today. <laughs> I feel like having a fucking super lazy day. Judge me if you want. I don't give a fuck. There's uh, <coughs> shit in there and some BBs for the pellet gun, so whatever. I think she really, 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 really likes her banky. She's really happy with that. She's like, it's so comfy and cozy. Yeah, it's comfy and cozy, cat and cat. Oh, I'm sorry, that bug you? I just wanted to pet you because you look so cute. <laughs> she hates when I pet her. Sometimes. Sometimes she wants it, and most of the time she doesn't. Cat's very antisocial. What do you expect? She's a fucking burn cat. Today, um, I don't feel like tackling the closet. I'm just going to bring that out to the garage and probably chuck most of it. It's probably old computer CDs that I no longer need. Uh... So yeah, that one's done. I should tackle that closet in the living room, but I'm feeling really fucking lazy today. So, let's be lazy. Fuck it. So I think I might shut the vlog down here, people. Uh, we're supposed to play video games tonight, seeing how it's Thanksgiving in America. Uh, Chuch has the day off and wants to get started a little earlier. So I think I'm going to shut the vlog down here and get it edited up, upload it to YouTube, and go from there. So, on that note, I guess thanks for watching. Like, favorite, and comment as always. You guys are freaking awesome. And until next time, peace the frig out. Keep on vlogging.